Okay, legend riders, there's no denying the new DJI Avanox motor is the most powerful e-bike motor in its class, and not by a little bit. This motor is so much fun and so powerful, but power means nothing if we're not getting good range or good autonomy out in the mountains. So that is why we are doing the extreme range test on the Amflow PL Carbon with the DJI Avanox motor and the 800 watt hour battery. And riders, make sure you stay on to the end because I have done the same extreme range test on all the major e-bike motors and systems, and we're gonna compare them at the end. And if you're interested in knowing more about the Amflow PL Carbon, I did my long-term review about three weeks ago on the channel, link in the show notes. And I'm also doing my long-term review of the DJI Avanox motor and system in the next couple of weeks. So if you wanna see that, subscribe to the channel and turn on those notifications. So what is an extreme range test you might be asking? Quite simply, we put the e-bike motor in the highest assistant mode, loop my favorite downhill until we run out of battery. And with the DJI, I'm doing it in the turbo. So the highest assistant mode with 105 Nm of torque and 850 watts of peak power. You can go into boost, which gives you that 1000 watts of peak power, but that's limited to 30 seconds. So I really can't do the whole test in boost. And riders, I also want to say, there are so many variables in extreme range test. Rider weight, rider fitness, tire selection, terrain, weather, etc., etc. But I am going to say, I have done all my extreme range test on the same trails, same rider, same fitness, and same 125 average beats per minute heart rate. So I've taken out a lot of those variables and this is gonna be more or less what you're gonna get from all systems of the average rider out there. And before we head out for the long day in the saddle, a massive shout out to Quadlock, the long-term sponsor at Sands Bikes. I absolutely love having my Quadlock on my handlebars. You'll see it in some slow motion when I was at the bike park La Panilla on my Amflow. The phone does not move, never have damaged a phone from a crash. It's never actually fallen off my handlebars. 100% recommend Quadlock. And the legends at Quadlock are giving you legends a 10% discount code of all Quadlock products. Check it out, link in the show notes. Now, off to do this extreme range test. Okay, so we just used 25% of the battery, so we've got 75% to go. We've been in the saddle 29 minutes, 6.4 kilometers, average heart rate 125 beats per minute, and the most crucial data, how much vertical meters climbed? We've done 478 vertical meters of climbing, which is very impressive for the power of this motor. Let's crack on. All right, so we're dropping back into the second downhill and we have just used 50% of the battery and we've been riding for about an hour, done 14 Ks, average heart rate still 125 and vertical meters climbed 900 meters of vert, which is impressive. Now, I'm all cameraed up, mic'd up. So why don't I give you my thoughts of like the last, what, six weeks, seven weeks on the Amflow and the Avanox motor. Now, if you haven't seen it, I have done my glossy review of the Amflow, and I'm working right now on the DJI Avanox review, like deep dive on the motor and system, but let's just talk about it. So, first off, the motor is freaking amazing. It really is in its own class, so much power, so smooth, such predictable power as well. Uh, you know, we're seeing right now, the range is not too shabby either. Major question a lot of the riders have, got all that power, but how much range? So we're gonna see at the end of this video. So let's talk about a few upgrades I've made to the Amflow. So first of all, first thing I did was change the wheels out. I'm still running 29er, but I've gone to Ravel, so specialized wheels, just because I felt I was getting a fair bit of feedback and I think those carbon rims were a bit too stiff, especially for how I like to ride, you know, proper enduro, super enduro Sam. Uh, I'm also running the Albert, the new Schwabie Albert radial tires in a gravity. 
uh, ultra soft front, soft back, amazing tyres. Definitely found better performance out of this bike just changing that. Also changed the bars. Gone to a rental aluminium bar just to try and find a bit more compliance as well. And I didn't like the sweep of the bar that came on it. You know, I am a bit particular with my bars. And I have gone a coil on the back. Right now I'm testing the Cane Creek. I think it's called the Tigra, or the Tigger, uh, which is a coil and air spring, which is very interesting. Uh, so it gives you the suppleness of a coil and the ramp up of air. Very interesting. So, riders, make sure, subscribe to the channel, because I will do a bike check uh, when I've made this thing a little bit more enduro. Completely fine how it came, but you know, I do like to play around with things. Let's crack on with this range test. Okay, so that is 75% used and we have 25% to go, of course. And check out this rock slab here, loving Madrid right now. The trails are running so good. And uh, so we have been in the saddle for an hour and 43 minutes. We have done 23 kilometers and average heart rate 126 beats per minute and vertical meters climbed 1,290. So, 25% to go. Let's keep on cracking. Okay, so we just hit 10% and the icon down here, I'm not sure if you can see that, it's gone from white to red. But I don't feel any restricting, maybe a little bit of restricting, but not much at all, if anything. So now we're at 5% left and it's the first time I have felt like a significant restriction of power. So we are still in turbo, but it kind of feels like we're in eco, maybe between eco and trail, maybe. Let's crack on. Okay, so that's it. Let's head home and analyze the data. Okay, Ledger Riders, that was a long day in the saddle. So let's check out the statistics. We rode for two hours and 41 minutes. Average heart rate, 126 beats per minute. Calories burnt, 1,125 calories. So I definitely burnt off and earned those beers. And we rode 37.3 kilometers. And the most important stat for me, the vertical meters climbed and we got 1,776 meters of vertical climbing, which is very impressive for how much power this motor has. And why is vertical meters climbed the most important stat for me? Well, they are electric mountain bikes. We are riding them in the mountains, so we want the range and the autonomy to be good when we're climbing up those mountains. If we're riding on the flat, we're gonna get a lot more range. Okay, so what are my take homes? Well, for the amount of power that the Avanox motor has, I think the range is very impressive. And I kind of knew it would be because I've been riding with everyone from Yamaha, Bosch, Bro, Shimano with similar size batteries. And we've been getting similar results. Like I haven't been running out of battery on those rides. I was very impressed that the Avanox didn't restrict or didn't feel like it restricted the power until 5% left of the battery. And also really impressed when we got to zero, it still gave us a bit of power. So that's very impressive. It's also worth noting, if you do like to use the boost, that 30 seconds, a thousand watts of peak power, you like to get a bit of boost drunk, which I do a little bit as well. It's a lot of fun. You are gonna drain the battery faster. And how linear is the battery usage? So we got 900 meters of vert when we use 50% of the battery. And then when we finished and used all of it, we got 1776. So it's pretty accurate and pretty linear. And I hope you riders are still with me. The most important question I know you have, how does it compare to all the majors on the market? Well, obviously it is the most powerful, but I've calculated if each system had a 750 watt hour battery, 
and we did the same extreme range test, same trail, same rider, same average heart rate, it would look like this. Giant, 1,437 meters. Shimano, 1,460 meters. Shram, 1,527 meters. Bafang, 1,545 meters. Bosch Gen 4 Race, 1,638 meters, and the DJ Avanox motor, 1,665 meters, then the Rocky Mountain, 1,685, and then the Specialized Turbo, 1,721 vertical meters. So riders, I think you would agree that the DJ Avanox motor getting in the top three e-bike systems for autonomy with the amount of power it has is very impressive. And for my style of riding, I definitely would be going the 800 watt hour battery, not the 600, because 1700 meters of vertical climbing, let's say I get a little bit boost drunk, boost happy, maybe I get 15, 16. That is definitely enough for my style of riding. And riders, like always, hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comments. I love to help. And you stay safe out there, and we are gonna see you next week.